Hello everyone, welcome to Technologia channel. In this video, Technologia will invite you to see the peanut farming process in America using modern technology. The first step that must be taken by farmers is the use of quality seeds. This is done to produce the best quality peanuts. In large-scale agriculture, there will be several special divisions in the laboratory, which ensure and store the best seeds for the next growing season. After the peanut seeds are ready, the farmer will then prepare the peanut field by plowing along the planting area. Plowing using a tractor machine, so that the soil becomes loose and easy to do planting. The farmers will make beds in the land area. The goal is to make the planting area neat and make air circulation in the soil good and stable. After the plowing is complete, the farmer will replace the machine with an automatic peanut planting machine. In one go, this tractor cultivator can plant 12 rows of beans at a time. Farmers plant between 53 and 64 kilograms of seed per hectare, depending on seed size, soil conditions, and weather conditions before planting. Within 7 to 8 days, the beans will appear. Usually, it depends on the weather. In these conditions, farmers will spray herbicides to kill grass and weeds that may be growing with the beans. Once it starts to grow, the farmer will turn the soil around the plant to stimulate its growth and control weeds. This will continue to be done according to the needs and conditions of soil moisture. Peanuts will begin flowering within 21 to 30 days. The first three weeks are a critical time for pea plants. If the weather is too hot and dry, the flowers that represent the pods potentially will not be able to develop in the soil. But, after going through this period, at the age of 45 to 60 days after planting, the peanuts have started to grow and are in the process of being filled. In this condition, the farmers will run irrigation regularly, according to the needs of the bean plant. This will make the peanut plants green and dense. In addition to draining water, farmers will spray fungicides to combat diseases that attack peanut plants. This spraying is done using a tractor. If the soil is too wet, spraying can be done by plane. Until this condition, farmers have made every effort that can be done for the growth of quality beans. The next thing is no less important, namely the difficult decisions that farmers have to make to determine the harvest time. Mistakes in determining the harvest time will make all previous efforts in vain. If farmers harvest too quickly, the results will not be optimal. Because young beans have a wrinkled texture with high water content. Meanwhile, if the harvesting of beans is late, it will cause many old pods to be left behind due to the fragile pods. So, that it can cause crop yield loss up to more than 50% compared to optimal harvest. To overcome this problem, farmers will use a general method to analyze the shell surface. So, that harvesting can be determined optimally. After the farmers decide the harvest time, 
they will bring two types of harvesting machines. The first tractor engines were tasked with pulling crops from the ground, and leaving them behind. While the second tractor machine, will separate the peanuts from the roots, and place the peanuts in the reservoir. These trucks, then carry the harvested produce, to a collection point in the factory, for washing, and drying. 